You're welcome back. If you just joined us, you're watching Business Morning. We're coming to you live from Channels Television, broadcasting from Lagos. We're now being joined by Thomas Aze. He is the head product management at Interswitch Nigeria. He is to my far left. Thank you for coming, Thomas. And we have Tito Adiroju. He is, she is rather, the group head, business enterprises at uh, Interswitch Nigeria. Thank you for coming on the program. I'm going to start with Thomas. What exactly is retail pay? Okay, I'll, I'll be very simple and straightforward. Um, retail pay is an inventory solution that is designed for the small and medium enterprise space. So uh, what it does really is to help, help SMEs manage their business. Okay, so what we see in that space generally is you have SMEs that um, they run their businesses and they want to ensure that they have opportunity to know um, how the business is doing and then also also of course engage banks and of course you know um, what we've seen is that uh, in the banking uh, in the sector they're very particular about about records so um, what, what it really is for them is to help manage such uh, you know uh, records in, in their business and also make payments easy for the SME so payment here means that you know in that space the SME wants to run a visa and to accept payments from their customers. So we will have made payments easier for them to accept on various channels, um, on the web, via ATM, via POS, and so on. And then of course, they can manage their business by keeping their records either on the, on the mobile app or on the web. So that's what it is in, mm. in, a, in a nutshell. Okay, how do you intend to get customers to know this, all of these processes involved? Are they going to register with you or they just get the app? Is that all that is required? Okay, so um, in today's world, things are made easier for people. Mm -hmm. So um, what we've done is to make it a, a web application. What that means is that you just go to the web and you, you register yourself. So everything is, is, is a self you know, the registration process. Very easy to. Very easy. Mm -hmm. Don't go to the web. You see where you can register, you register, and go and run through the process. It's very, it's very uh, straightforward. Okay, let me come to Tito. What would you describe as the retail pay customer? Who is the retail, uh, retail pay customer? Um, basically, I think the retail c customer is anyone who's, you have to be able to take a savvy because just mm -hmm. a little to be able to use like a smartphone, a tablet, uh, but more importantly, retail pay customers, anyone who wants to grow a business and wants to become a bankable customer, a customer that people would want to invest in, someone that has records. You see that a lot of um, the issues with, you know, the CBN, for example, has, um, and, the, and, and the federal government, they launched in September the 220 billion uh, fund for MSMEs. And then also the World Bank, the same at the end of September, where um, they launched a $500 million fund. And then the question, therefore, is for lending organizations, who do we lend to? What records do you have to show that you can pay back the money? Mm. So a lot of businesses are profitable. They make good sales. But when you ask them for one-year historicals, two-year historicals, that's where they fall short. And what we try to advocate is the fact that you need to begin to change the way you record information. You don't have to do it in, in a full year. You have to do it day by day. Because then you have a daily report and then a weekly report, and that becomes your monthly, that becomes your one-year historical. Mm -hmm. So um, a retail pay customer is someone who wants to begin to keep records in order for them to not only grow their business, but become a bankable customer, someone that people will be willing to invest money in. Mm -hmm. You know, a business that people want to invest in, a business that the government would like to loan money, knowing that the money will, you know, be repaid, and then the business will grow, and then they can loan even more money. So, a small business owner or even medium-sized who, who wants to start a business, are there technicalities involved in having to keep records? Is it just for you to have uh, a sheet of paper or, or document as to just state how much you're spending? Are there some kind of technicalities involved in doing this? I think it's pretty straightforward. So, what we basically have is a system where you can manage your inventory, so you keep stock. It's, it's very pretty simple. We made it simple. But when you see the records that come out of my, uh, reports that come mm -hmm. out of a retail pay solution, they look, you know, really extravagant. But it all comes to do, it all has to do with very, putting in very simple information. So you put, you know, ten pairs of shoes, a hundred pairs of shoes. You put a hundred pairs of shoes, 
And then what we've done with the solutions, because you know you, you, there are different types of shoes, there are high heel shoes, there are flat shoes, there are ballerina pumps. So what we've done is you can put codes, but more importantly, you can put pictures. So that as you begin to sell, you can sell from the pictures. So it's we've made it very user friendly. Mm. And so you buy the stock, you say how much you bought it, what your profit is, and then as you sell, it also records you know the sale. Mm. And then you can actually record your customers. So you have like a customer database as well. So all that goes into record cleaning. So it's not technical. It's just you understanding the rudiments and then following through with doing it every day. Mm -hmm. That's what builds up that record that you need to um, access all okay. that money. Okay. Now, Thomas, let me come to you. What gaps do you expect retail pay to fill within the identified markets? Okay, you know, um, earlier, I, I mentioned um, the fact that today there's a research, a research you know, that says that the SMEs, one of the challenges that they have today uh, ranges from one, lack of funds, to ability to have access to technology. Okay? So the gap we are, we are, you know, we are covering today is to assist them in keeping their records. So once they have access to keeping their records, then it will be easy for the banks to, you know, to deal with them. What that means is that so a bank, for example, can say, I can analyze what you've done for the past two years, for the past three years, value reports that you have, and then based on that, I can give you, I can, I can make credit available to you. You know, and then number two, the, um, the platform that we have provided, the, the, the basic platform we have provided is cheap and it's very easy. What that means is that unlike the regular um, inventory platforms, whether you have to pay a whole lot of you know, you know, money to have access to such, to such technology, what we've done now is to make it easy. So you're able to be able to register with a very minimum you know, funds. You have access to it for a year, and then you, know, you can have access to it. Do you want to let our viewers know how much is that would cost? Well, um, interestingly, um, in a year, it costs less than 36000 naira in a year, for the whole year. And you have the option to pay a monthly, quarterly, you know, as the case may be. And, you know, so but you don't consider the monthly fee is less than 3000 naira. So it's something that you can, from the whole of your business in a month, just take away the 3000 naira, and then you have access to all these beautiful, you know, um, and features that, that can help, help. help build, build your business and give you access to funds in the bank. Mm. Okay, Tito, you talked about being tech savvy a little bit mm -hmm. and not uh, an advanced level of knowledge, so to speak. So for those who really want to do this and really do not know how to go about it, you said it's user friendly. What advice would you want to give them to allow them to get into the flow of having to understand how this works? Do they have to get a phone first and understand how to use a smartphone? Is that all you think is required? Um, basically, um, you can, I mean, it, you don't have to buy new, a new device. Mm -hmm. You can use your existing smartphone, your laptop if you already have one. Mm -hmm. You can use, you know, your tablet. You can use any of these devices to basically um, use access the system. Um, tech is savvy. I mean, it's just like sending an SMS. Remember in the beginning, the telcos had to teach you, you know, send this is how to send an SMS. But now it's just intuitive, and that's how we've got the system. It's intuitive. So it's, if you just go to www.myretailpay.com. Um, you would see a short video shows you what to what you can use the solution for. But I think more importantly, um, the solution was you know, built by Nigerians for Nigerians okay. and probably the rest of the world. But um, more importantly is the innovation that we have put into the system. Now it just doesn't record sales. And it just doesn't do inventory. It also helps you receive payments. Okay. Everybody wants to receive so payments. So you, you can get to know the transaction with in your business, if someone is paying into a account, for instance, yes. it reflects via this app. Is that what you're saying? Okay, so let me just give you a quick analogy of how it works. Um, so, so let's take for example, Victor. He goes to buy to buy, to buy shoes, and then he 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 sells to Toby, for example. Just hold on to another word, um, another name. So he goes and he buys the shoes, and he wants Toby to pay him on a Saturday or a Sunday, and he's sitting there in his house. With this solution, you can receive the payment. Because all he needs to do is, when he registers, we will give him a code. Maybe his code is 777. So we give him a code 777. So he tells Toby, okay, you've picked up these shoes, 5,000. You've paid me 2,005. You say you paid me 2,005 on Saturday. So all you need to do is go to any quick teller enabled ATM and put in your card and then type in 777. 
and then 2005 and that money will come straight into my account. Mm. So that's one of the payment options. There are three mm. payment options. So one is the fact that he can then use an ATM to pay. Mm -hmm. And then the second one is he can, Victor, the seller of the shoes, can actually send him an invoice. And then the invoice says, um, this is how much you're supposed to pay, Toby. If you'd like to pay, uh, click here. Okay. So what that means is if he clicks that invoice, you know he's looking at his invoice from his email. So he clicks the email, um, that invoice, there's a way it says click here. It opens up like a payment gateway and then he can put in his card details and he can pay. Now what that means is Victor, the business owner, can begin to receive payments online without needing to have a website. Okay.